For today's video, I'm going to show you how to master the brush tool in Photoshop, including the techniques, tips, and customization. So let's get started. So let's open this blank page here. And let's select this brush tool over here. Well, we all know that brush tool is used for painting and handwriting. And we can also create lines, but not perfectly. So now on this first part, I'm going to show you how to use brush tool to create straight lines. If you start brushing and hold shift key, you can try to draw a horizontal line and or a vertical line and you can see that it does it perfectly. We can also do it this way. So let's make a point here. Let's make a point. And then hold shift and create another point on this side. And that creates another straight line. And for example, we'll hold another one here. So you can see that how the straight lines are being drawn. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my video to other nerds like us. Going back, the shortcut key for brush tool is the button B. So let's say, for example, we select another tool, select another tool here, and we can just press B to go back to brush tool. See? And now I'm going to show you the different options of brush tool. Once you select this arrow down key, you're going to see the option for brush tool. And you can see here below that there are different kinds of brushes. By the way, if I minimize this one, yeah, and you can see that there are different folders here, but actually this is, these are all about tool brushes. So let's say, for example, you want to use this soft, br soft brown brush, so you can just click it and then use it, all right? So just like that. Okay, so let's remove that. Maybe, maybe there will be a time that you will wonder that your brushes is gone. So just like this, you see that the circle around my mouse is gone, right? So if that happens, just like this one, you can see the brush is lost. So how do we bring it back? So we bring it back by just pressing caps lock key. And you see the brush circle is back again. Now let's talk about how to change the brush size manually. You can change the brush size by clicking this arrow down again and you can see there's the size here and the lower it is, um, the lower pixel is, the smaller it is. All right. So for example, let's use this one for 50. You can see the size is just small and maybe let's make it in a higher pixels. You can see the brush size is much bigger, All right? Okay. There is also a couple of shortcuts. So, so to make it, to make the size smaller, you can, so press left bracket key to make it small. And you, if you want to make it bigger, you can just press right bracket key to make it bigger. The next thing is about the hardness of the brush. So it controls how sharp are the edge of the brush and how soft. Okay, so now let's try to compare the hard ones and the soft brush. Okay, so let's click this one here. So for now, I'm going to use the soft brush first. Okay, so see, this one is an example of a soft brush. Okay, wait. Um, 
let's make it more visible. Okay, so yeah, here is an example of a soft brush. Now let's adjust it to a higher percentage of hardness. So let's say to 90%. Okay, so try to compare these two. See? So that's about it. Okay, so let's make this one clear again. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to tell you is about the opacity. Okay, so once you call, once you select the brush, we will see the opacity, opacity over here. All right? And you can see we can decrease it to 20%, for example. Okay. And now this is less opaque. Look at the draw. Look what I'm drawing. So you can see the. Uh, that's how low the visibility is because it's just twenty percent. Okay, so now let's put it in a higher percentage. So let's compare that. So you can see. This one is more visible because the higher the opacity, the less the transparency. And yes, there is another shortcut key for adjusting the opacity. Okay, so we just have to press the number key. So, for example, um, we press eight. You can see the opacity turns to eighty percent. And if we try to press 2, for example, it goes to 20%. See? And if you want to make it into 100%, just click, or you just have to press 0. And that's 100% opacity. We can also use brush tool as an eraser. Well, for example, we're going to draw something here, yeah, just like this, all of these drawings. And then, how do we erase that? We just have to press tilt key, okay, tilt key. And then, yeah, hold the tilt key, and then you can already apply the eraser to the drawings of this brush tool. Okay, so of course, if you remove the, if you don't press Tilt key, you can see you can draw again. And then tilt key once again to erase. Okay. In Photoshop, brush tool can be a lot of things. It can also use to cut out stuffs. By the way, let's go to this picture that I just prepared. Okay, so you can see that there's a background of the road. And actually, I just crop an image of this little girl and yes actually the mask is not that perfect so look at this I'm just going to zoom it zoom in let's zoom in okay so just like this hand over here you can see that there are some extra thing on it. So our goal is to cut this out by using a brush tool. So how do we do that? So we just have to click on this mask layer of the girl and then click on brush. And of course the brush is too big so maybe let's adjust the size into smaller size. Okay, so maybe 9. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, or just what I've taught you, select the bracket, see how small it is, okay, all right, there you go, all right, and then just draw or on the ones that you want to remove, let's remove those excess things. What if you accidentally erase the hand, for example, like that, so how do we bring that back? So we just have to press X and then draw again from the part that was been erased with our brush tool. 
Okay. And that's how it is. And those are some t tips and techniques in using the brush tool in Photoshop. You just have to keep on using it, practice it, so you will master it.